Hello friends. Today I'm going to talk about endometrial reciprocity testing. So it's very popular. ERA, endometrial reciprocity assay. So, so what is this test? Why is this test done? So this test is nothing but testing the endometrial receptivity. It is done for couples with multiple previous IVF failures in spite of transferring good embryos. More than three transfers, if it fails, definitely you should go for this endometrial receptivity testing. So what do we do? We do a mock embryo transfer cycle. You take this estrogen hormone in the follicular phase in the first part of cycle. Then you take give progesterone. Give this progesterone for five days, same like a normal embryo transfer cycle. Instead of doing an embryo transfer, at the time of embryo transfer, you are taking a biopsy of the endometrium, do a genetic study. So in this study, they test for 238 genes associated with endometrial receptivity and we get a report. How is this report? This report will tell you when to transfer a blastocyst embryo, that is day 5 embryo. For some couple with, most of the couples with uh, recurrent IVF failures, this test of very good use. It will tell you when to transfer. For some couple, you need to transfer the embryo on day 3, even if it is a blastocyst. For some couple, you have to transfer on day 7 of uh, progesterone, even if it is a blastocyst. So this vital piece of information you will get with endometrial receptivity testing. I would like to share in my experience in this. I had a couple who had 15 IVF failures in 4 different clinics. Even in our clinic, this particular couple failed thrice. So when we ordered this test, endometrial receptivity testing, we found that the report came that you should transfer the embryo on day 3 instead of day 5. When we transferred, this couple succeeded and now she has a live baby. After this particular couple's incident, then we started doing more. What we found was people with 5, 6, 4, whatever embryo transfer failures, they conceived immediately in the first attempt after doing this endometrial receptivity RA. So I definitely recommend this test, particularly if you have more than 2 or 3 IVF failure, it definitely helps. Thank you for watching this video. I hope your IVF cycle turns successful.